What's going on, everyone? So as you may well know, uh, because it's a health and fitness channel, I work out a lot. And when you work out a lot, you get sore muscles. And I haven't had, up until yesterday, which is what this uh, video is about, I haven't had a massage in a very long time. I had a very great uh, masseuse years ago. Very expensive, but I would go a couple times a year and she... She was wonderful. Her name was Connie, this kind of bigger Hispanic lady, but she was so nice and she was so great. But I caught her on the way out. She ended up retiring. So I was like, damn, I, I wasn't even able to say uh, goodbye because by the time I tried to schedule with Connie, they said that she retired. So I'm glad that she retired and she's all good. But anyway, um, a cheaper version of getting massages. And I'm not sure if they're very common in your part of the country or just uh, let me know in the city that you live in. I live in California. There are these, uh, these Asian uh, Chinese uh, places that are often at malls. They have a bunch of, and I'll try to put some visuals if you, uh, for people that are visual, if you don't know. There's ones called So Relax, um, Reflexology, and they're basically, you do them at malls, and obviously in the mall it's very loud, but it's more for people that just want a quick massage. They have ones where you can sit in the chair, and you're not really there for the ambience, you're just there for functionality, and that's what I need. I don't really need the massage oil, I don't need the... Uh, the, the, the soundtrack with the, the waterfalls. If I want to do that, I, I will go to a higher end place, but if you just want to get out these crazy knots and I just worked out yesterday and I wanted to get a massage and I was at the mall with my wife. Um, you can go to these. So anyways, I go to the, these one of these places and they're, uh, they're all Chinese and, uh, not to pigeonhole. My wife is Chinese, so I'm not a racist, but all these Chinese people, all these places, they're very uh, aggressive. They want to upsell you and I'm completely aware of it and I have no problems uh, dealing with these type of people because it's just a lot of it is cultural and I understand although I do feel like they should assimilate a little bit better being the, in America but that's for another story so anyways I go in for they have two options they have the chair option it's cheaper and different time frames different durations and then there's one that you can lay down on the bed so I chose to get the bed one for a 20 minute session on the bed for $24 so I tell the guy I say He's, he's like, you want a massage? I was like, yeah. Can I get the bed option for 20 minutes? I say that politely. What does he say? 30 minute. So, uh, no, I want a 20 minute massage on the bed. 30 minute. It's like, man, did I stutter? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm like, okay, are we going to do this or what? I was like about to say that. And I say 20 minutes or, or what? I just kind of gave him that look. His English is obviously broken. He's like, okay, 20 minute. So I go, I get the massage. And overall, it was it was pretty good at first. Like, I like to get deep tissue. I don't like, I've had some massage therapists that just are not that strong. And uh, this was a guy and he was, he was pretty good. At the beginning, it was kind of like a little bit. I was like, eh, I don't know if this is worth it. But at the end, he definitely picked up the pace. And I timed it and he went a little above 20 minutes. So after I was done, uh, I looked over to my wife uh, and she wanted to get one. So I ended up paying the $24 and I didn't have, basically I was going to pay credit card, but they charged for a credit card. So I was like, forget it. So of the 24, I had, I had the 20, I had the four and then I only had $27. So, and, and there was an ATM around my wife. Um, and I had another extra big bill and I just didn't want to break it in front of him because I don't want to, to get the guy to start hassling me for the, for the cash. But I knew that my wife was going to get a massage and that I was going to break that bill and I was going to pay him more on the end for the tip. Anyways, the the massage is $24 and I give him $27, which is a 12.5% tip. Now, I'll be straight up honest. I, I am not, I'm not cheap, but I don't believe in mandatory tipping. Uh, I don't believe that society wants to tip certain certain workers. A certain amount and another group of a people that work they decide society decides that they shouldn't tip but anyway a massage is it's a lot of hard work i'm sure and i wouldn't want to do it and it's a service that if it's good it, it it it's should be rewarded with a good tip in my opinion and he 
he, even though he kind of was busting my chops at the beginning, about 20 minute, 30 minute overall, it was decent. So yeah, I, I got the money out and I gave him the 27 and he kind of just kind of chuckled a little bit. I could tell he was kind of pissed. And I was like, oh, okay, well, here we go. But then I said, my wife wants to get a quick uh, chair massage for uh, $12 for 10 minutes. And he looked pretty reluctant. He looked kind of pissed. And uh, he gave her the massage. But he didn't know that I was going to break the 20 and give him a little bit more. So anyway, she, my wife gets the massage. And after she's done, I give him the money. He gives me the cash back. And then I gave him an extra... Uh, five dollars so i gave him a five dollar tip on a twelve dollar uh, massage which is a 41 percent tip so if you take the average of both our massages as a package because initially it was just going to be me but my wife wanted to get one at the last minute the tip came the tip came overall to over 22 percent, which is reasonable so after i gave him the five i think he was kind of a little bit surprised and he was like, okay, thank you. And then he walked away. So anyways, I just want to give you my um, experience on that. Uh, if you've never gone to these, and I actually went to one in Memphis out of all places. I was on vacation and they, were, they weren't as pushy there. And um, I had a decent experience there. But some of, these, some, of these, some of these guys are just very aggressive. And try not to take it personally, but don't let them pressure you into giving them more money because you know what they will if they deserve it and you want to tip them go ahead but if you feel pressured um you shouldn't feel pressured okay that's just the facts um i think um what they don't realize is i don't think they're really into the customer service um aspect they're more about just the actual performance the actual work that they do and that's all they care about but what they fail to realize is if they were to be a little bit nicer towards their patrons towards their customers they'd probably get a better tip and they would get repeat customers but i don't know if that's ever going to change anyways that's my quick uh not that quick seven minute story on uh getting a massage so if you want to just get in and out and you can deal with getting haggled a little bit and you don't care about the ambiance, then go to one of these. But if you want the real experience and where you get kind of pampered, and if you're female and manicure, pedicure, the whole nine yards and a massage, uh, they have ones with like hot stone. They have all sorts of good ones. Then you might you might as well go to a real uh, massage place. But it's going to cost you a lot, probably over a hundred dollars. This is a cheaper option. But like I said, you might end up getting in a brawl. Um, <laughs> them trying to get your money and taking your wallet so that's my time thanks for watching have you had ever had this type of experience before uh, let me know because I, I can't be the uh only one comps questions always welcome talk to you next time bye